So it's uh, lunchtime on the second day of the new group. We seem to have worn them out a bit. Uh, should we wake them up? Hello, come on. <laughs> Let's go. And you. Oh, they've been working very hard though. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, say hi, Ben. Hi. <laughs> oh dear. Let's go and have a look what they've been doing. <laughs> They're just about awake now. So, I've been up here for two days with the new group. Uh, this is the seventh week of the excavation. And really, we've been opening up quadrant three, which is the other half to this one. So, you'll remember seeing this big stony mound here. So we've just been deturfing for a day and a bit, getting these sides very pleasingly straight actually. They've done a good job. You can see those. Oh. It is quite hard to cut them straight up here because of all the uh, heather roots and the, the turf itself. And you can see there, um, well not, not huge amounts to see yet, but that's that's the, the rest of the mound. And there's quite a lot of stone already poking through there. Um, and this is this possible entrance now uh, into the porch of the little circular building. So you can see there. It does look like there might be some sort of path that, with, with edging down through these stones here. It looks a bit deeper uh, and a bit more peaty to this side, so that might work. Um, so I don't know. Um, hopefully. The man might be a bit more intact here. Um, although it did look quite impressive when we deturfed the other side and then obviously it didn't really turn into intact walling. Um, but maybe, maybe we'll get some on this one. Um, also had, because these are the, the bigger of the opposing quadrants, we're also getting into the interior of the little round building now. And you can see quite a lot of stone in the bank then um, a lot of uh, collapsed material on the inside so that's where we're at um, let's see if this lot want to stand up and get busy um, so we'll probably make another video tomorrow afternoon and we'll see see where we've got we've got um, quadrant two hang on no that's quadrant three this is quadrant three and we're going to try and open up half of this in the next day or so and that'll be the rest of the building then, and see if those heather banks are the continuation of the the wall, or whether that wall just peters out or stops. I'm getting a feeling it, it might be that bank there running all the way back. But we'll find out. I'll have to dig a hole. Okay, one last look at the new guys. Everybody wave. Ah, uh, they're so much more alert now. They're nice. All right, well, it's the end of the second group's first week. Um, they've been working very hard this week. You can see this is, uh, they're just cleaning the bottom of quadrant two, where in bits they're down to the natural and, and in bits we, we're just getting through the base of the peat. So I need another cleaning. We haven't really got into the mound yet, but it's, it's looking quite impressive, I think. I still think it looks a bit more intact than it did over on the other side, so um, that's good news. Uh, you can see all the happy, happy young diggers here at the end of their first week. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> they really want to go home. Uh, a nice thing up here is that as we've deturfed in between these two stones, and you might remember I was saying I thought they were the entrance into the the porch to the building. You can see we've got a nice sill stone uh, between the two there, uh, that sort of uh, horizontal stone, marking the doorstep, marking the threshold. And that's interesting because that's actually mentioned in uh, Pickett and Powell's report from 46. Uh, so it is nice to see that. And I suppose the, the more exciting bit so far is going on in this trench. Uh, this is quadrant three. Say hi everyone. 
Sarah's looking a bit happier than the last time you saw her. And she's just woken rudely from her nap. Um, this is going great. So, in this corner, we've got uh, the edge of the small circular building, which... Sorry, one sec, Lauren. Um, the edge of the small circular building, um, which, you know, we've had coming around, but where we saw it before, it'd been, you know, it, there wasn't much to it, but certainly now in the top of quadrant two and in here, we're seeing a much more intact looking building, uh, with some real substance to it. So that's really nice. And then, uh, so that we'll, we'll get that cleaned up next week. And, um, I mean, the interior's absolutely ran through a big stone, so it does look like there's been considerable amounts of collapse in there. But what we weren't necessarily expecting is this one here that Christina is cleaning. Can we uh, just get over your shoulder here? And you can see these two lines of stone coming along. Well, that seems to be those two revetments that we had in the in quadrant one coming through much more intact um, with a, a, a heavy soil infill and then the uh, the rest of the outer face of the mound down here so again something looking much more intact and recognizable but it's really big i mean looking at it from over here that is a chunky chunky piece and um, from the line of it, it's probably this um, heather bank extending around here. And I know we, we speculated about that, but it's it's certainly, I mean, it's right there, it's coming across, and you can see those stones sticking out. So it almost certainly has to be this bank coming right up here, in which case, that thing is massive. Uh, that doesn't mean I know what it is yet, but it's big. It's really big, and the, the little building isn't in the middle of it, it's just resting up against one side of it. Now, the girls here have been practicing their trowel throwing skills, which they are going to impress you with now. <laughs> or not, you know, here we go. Oh, no. Yes! Well, there's two. That wasn't bad. You come back in a week and they'll have that. It's this important archaeological skills. Oh, we haven't had any injuries yet, that's quite good. And then we've got some trowel spinners here. Oh, <laughs> brilliant stuff. Oh, so okay, it's got to be said the trowel spinners are doing a lot better than the trowel throwers, but. <laughs> Alright, everyone say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>